double A, I'll try and do some of the talking for you because you were front row there today in the protest. Then we had that emotional game there. Great performance from United on the pitch, on and off the pitch today. It's been a good day. Talk us through your emotions of the day and how it started and what you're feeling right now. Yeah, mate, I mean, today is just a, it's a great picture of what this club means to United fans. And it's so important that we all get together and shown our displeasure, not only the Glazers, but people that want to leverage the Glazers into staying at the club for longer than they should be allowed to. We've had 18 years now of just crap, aren't we? we just, it's been loaded with crap and we don't want any more of that. And I think today was just a brilliant getting together, meeting up with fans that are all displaying the same message, that we want the Glazers gone, no matter how they, how they want to stay, who they want to stay with, who they want to jump on the back of and try and ride another storm. And, just take this club lower and lower. We don't want that anymore. We can't. Ha we can't have that anymore. No, we don't want it. We can't have it. It can't carry on this way. We've seen where they've put us and where we deserve to be, and we de deserve to be a lot higher than we actually are. And owners that, that give a crap about us, and we haven't got that at the moment. And so, Jim, if, if you're here to come and keep them in, in place, however many years, you know, Gary Neville saying, well, it could be two years, and he, he buys them out. We don't want that. We've got someone there who wants to buy the club outright and, and take propel United back to the level that we need to be. You know, we're looking over the over the city at, 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 at those Blues and Liverpool and Chelsea and Newcastle coming in. We need to be on that level with them, and we're not, and we won't be as long as the Glazers are here. So today, going there at 11 o'clock and walking all the way, you know, drenched like a rat, like you saw me at the front. I was, <laughs> luckily, I've dried off a little bit now. I was soaked, but it was worth it. And, and it's that message of Glazers out, and we, we want a full sale and. Yeah, I'm proud to be a United fan today. I think, you know, there was no trouble, there were little bits here and there, but to come together and just to display that message of Glazers out and green and gold to the club is sold is, is, is amazing to be here, mate. That's it. Is that the message, double A, though? It's like the fans get together, they walk in before the game, then they go into the stadium, they vocal, they get behind the team. We're not going to leave. We're not going to leave empty seats here at Old Trafford for them to bring in their next line of fans who they want just bums on seat with. This is how it's going to be with United. That's the message pretty much today, isn't it? On and off the pitch, we're behind our club and our team. Yeah, absolutely, mate. You, you know, you were saying yesterday uh, on your stream, we're just leg legacy fans to them. They don't want 75,000 of us. They want 75,000 new people coming in every day. You know, two bags full of mega yep. store goods. That's what they want. And, you know, a, ma a man CUNY who doesn't spend anything isn't really what they want at the club. They just want people that... The cash registers keep going, 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 because it propels them and it keeps them at a stable level that they know they can keep a grip of this club. But, you know, us, us, I didn't go in, I missed the first 18 minutes and it was working, it was nil nil anyway, so it didn't really matter. But, you know, it, for you. Well, thanks, I'm so happy. <laughs> Do you know what, as I walked in, they were singing, um, we want Glazers out, I thought, yeah, they just waited there, perfect time for me. Um, but no, I mean, we just have to show that we're not going to accept it anymore. We can't accept it because if this Sir Jim is true what he wants and he wants to keep them there, how long are we in it for again? We're stuck in the mud for another 10 years or however long they decide to stay here. So, you know, we just have to keep going. All the fans showed this pleasure, hashtagging everything, glazers out, glazers out, pictures, singing when you're here. You know, the, the crowd were brilliant today. The fans, the showing, as well as support for the team, support for the club. And that's what we need. Not just the team, the players that are out there, but the support for the club that we cannot no longer let die because it's, it's getting to the point now where we have to just get them out and they have to go. Fully. That's it, mate. Well said, there yourself. I mean, Ten Hag has had a big say in putting this team and this club on the map again. Yeah. I think that there today, pretty much, I can't see it with the amount of games that other teams are playing against each other that are below us. Yeah. We're in the Champions League next season, mate. It's added value again. There'll be a new shirt sponsor coming in because of that, I'm sure. I mean, on the pitch, it looks like we're going in the di right direction. We back that up off it, mate. Then we are talking back up there at that high table again that you just said oh absolutely we, we know we've got the manager there that can take us and, and have us competing with every club in the world because what he's doing with this team you know taking the worst ever premier league team to challenging for you know top four trophies we wasn't expecting that at the start of this season we thought you know if we if we just creep into fourth get far in some competitions that'd be absolutely brilliant but he's exceeded every fan's my, personally can't speak for every fan but my expectations of what he can do and what he's producing on the pitch as well you know we saw two, the two sides of Manchester United we've seen the, the brilliant attacking play we saw in the first half against Spurs and the weak mentality creeping again that we've seen the last couple of weeks whether that's tiredness or you know just players that can't keep up to the level that he wants 
and then you get that a dog fight you know showing some some balls today like you know Villa are, are a great team in great form you know we owed them one for, for Villa Park and they were there today they, they, were, they were dogged they were ruthless not ruthless but you know they stuck to task and they were really hard working and you know every, every single one of them give 100% there today can't fault any players yes you can nitpick but together as a team, they emphasise what the manager wants from day in, day out, on, on the pitch, on the training pitch. And they put it all out there today and it was a brilliant, brilliant win for the, for the team. Double A. Enjoy your rest, mate. You deserved you it. Too. Cheers, mate.